pre-search. The idea is a decentralized searching platform, trying to get away from Google. It still allows you to search on Google and these other places. It actually ties into the different search engines. They actually create the results from the other search engines. They pull in, they get you get a unique, unique set of results from running through them. The difference with this platform is that you get paid to be able to use it. And there's other things that have come out to try to do something like that. This is based in the crypto world. The coin <clears throat> that they use. P-R-E. P-R-E. Pre. So the compensation, the way you get rewarded is as a user. You're a user? For the search engine, you get 0.1 per search that you do with a maximum of 30 searches per day that you can get rewarded for. So you, so max is out at three pre per day. So right now- So 75, 75 cents a 75 cents a day. Yep, for, for just doing your searches. I mean, it's what you'd normally do. You get the same kind of set of results. And the way that this gets paid for, the structure of it is that you have advertisers, same as with Google, you can actually stake keywords. You're not revealing your personal information. It's really just based on your search terms that you've been searching for. So what they Google don't get used all to be. your information like Google does. Right. right, it's what Google used to be, right? They're kind of getting back to that. Way of getting rewarded is by being a user. The other side is being a node operator. And this is something that in the crypto world is becoming more and more common. Um, it's a theme that seems to be evolving as we move to decentralized this idea. And a lot of different <laughs> cryptocurrency companies, a way to get into their system, their, their ecosystem. So Gala Games, one way to get to Galacoin is to become a node owner, and they only have 50,000 nodes that they'll ever distribute. They're becoming very expensive these days. Whereas pre-search, they, have, they haven't said there's ever going to be a cap on the amount of node owners. And to become a node owner, how do you do it? You, you have to stake you a certain amount. You have to stake amount. right now 1,000. And I just three days ago, the owner was talking about they're, they're needing to increase the number because they've had a huge influx of people who want to run these nodes. Going to increase, it talked about like 10,000, increasing it to 10,000 minimum staking or 2,500 or, you know. And you're talking about that discussion. coin, the, the pre-coin. Right. Yep. And so and staking so that just means means that you are committing you're holding that holding amount it. so you have a thousand of the pre-coin which translates to currently at the 25 cent price it currently it'd be 250 dollars to be a node owner to own one node and if you wanted to you could own as many as you want you just have to continue to increase that amount Yep. That you stake. You know, and so from that standpoint, it really is just another way of staking. I mean, there's a lot of different options out there for staking cryptocurrency. We're going to have a different video. We'll talk about the idea of staking in crypto and what the different opportunities are for that. But uh, this this is one way to, to look at, to, to do staking. So it's a different method. But as I've been able to look into it, it looks like you get about um, one pre per day right now to run a node. So you actually make more as a user than you would as a, as a node operator. So why would you want to operate a node? Well, I mean, one reason, of course, is you like the idea and you want to support it. You want to bring about this decentralization and try to move away from the power that Google has and others. Also, the, the upscale, the potential of it could be big. Right now, as an example, because of the legal challenges that Google has had in the EU, as far as their monopoly and different things that are happening there, to appease that, Google has actually now on Android made pre-search. It just came out like news like yesterday or a couple of days ago making that the default search engine now on all Android devices in the UK, in the EU. Right now, node operators, it's running on what, what they call the test net. So they only have a very small subset of searches going through the decentralized node operators. Everything else is running through whatever other system their own they're system. using, their own system, their own, you know servers and so that's called the main net and they are looking they're going to be looking at cutting over the main net to the main group which will change the amount of traffic you know drastically that's going to the node operators at that point so you know i, I just as a guess i'm thinking maybe you get five dollars a day you know running a node that's just a rough idea i'm sure yeah, and that's that's right now based on it being twenty five cents. But I think their compensation is based on the value of the coin so as you well. Had re you had recently just said you get one pre per day, but you think that'll change to be a lot more based on the traffic coming through right. your node. Comparing staking that with different them. staking opportunities and seeing if you know it's better is just it to actually stake. worth it. Yeah. In my mind, I feel like with this, if there's no cap on the amount of node owners or founding node owners, then I don't see a huge value in it. As the price of this pre-coin increases, you're still able to get in and become a, a node owner. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be limitless. 
unless you get in at the at the ground floors and it costs more in the future i could see that being worthwhile then what's they're talking about as far as the staking amount but again yeah this is this is definitely a much smaller kind of a opportunity yeah then compared to the gala games the gala, we talked. Games. the gala games node that one the thing that we like about that a lot is that it is uh, a limit of 50,000 at least of the founding you know the founding nodes where you can't get in anymore after they've been sold the, the people who own those they could go ahead and sell them after the initial 50,000 are sold you know I'm sure they'll be extremely expensive at that point they're projected to go up to $100,000 per node once the majority of them have been sold. So that idea of scarcity, I think, adds to the value of nodes, whereas with this situation, I feel like the whole point of owning a node is is not quite there. Whereas you might as well just stake, hold some of the currency, the pre-coin currency, mm-hmm. and, and see where it goes if you're interested in, in that company and yep. the idea. Yep. If you have any questions, obviously leave it down in the comments below. If you like this type of content, well, you know what to do. And we'll see you in the next video. Are you sure they know what to do? They know what to do. Oh, yeah. They do. You do. All right.